if Krishna wants something, if Krishna asks us to do something, we don't have the right to say, no, I can't do this. So let's talk about that. So I understand that we may feel incompetent. We may feel we lack qualification to execute certain services. But sometimes we're in a situation where we're being asked to do something that we feel is beyond, as we say in America, beyond our pay level. I'm just not qualified to do this. And in some cases, we do need to back out because we could upset other devotees. We could actually, it could actually be harmful for the lives of others. And say, if I'm asked to be a teacher and I'm really not qualified, it could be detrimental to the lives of those other devotees, children, students. But let's take scenarios where that's not the case, where we're being asked to do something. And we know this is what Krishna wants, and we're thinking, I'm not very good, I can't do it, I won't be successful, this is going to be difficult for me, and so on. So I'd like to present the idea that maybe we should think that we actually don't have a right to think that way. If Krishna wants us to do it, who are we to say no? Because it's his desire. And if he wants it, then obviously if we don't try, it's not going to happen. And even if you say, if I try, I may not be successful. Okay, but you may be. And the fact that you tried, that's the service. That's the duty. So we need to reframe it a little bit. Okay, I may feel unqualified, but if this is what Krishna wants, do I actually have the right to say I'm not qualified? Do I actually have this, the right to say, no, it's not going to happen. I can't make it happen. I can't conceive of how it's going to happen. Maybe I can't conceive of how it's going to happen, but it doesn't mean I shouldn't make the effort because through making the effort, through trying to be successful, I will gradually learn or, or I will be forced to figure it out, to study, to find others who can help. In some way, I'll be, I'll be in a situation where gradually, gradually, I'll begin to understand how to do something better and better. Everybody starts out somewhere, not as a master. Sometimes it's said every master was first a disaster. Recently, I was listening to some stories of, of successful people how they started. Some of the most successful people had a very similar story. These are teachers. I said, at my first seminar, I spent so much money advertising. I had a big room in a hotel. And the only people that showed up were my friends and relatives. And these people are super, super successful now. Uh, another super successful person was going bankrupt. He was working on a book, wasn't working. And the um, book wasn't going well. And uh, through, through various events, it became a bestseller eventually. So, and he didn't feel especially qualified more than anyone else. So, but when it's coming, my point is when it comes to Krishna and he wants something, do we really have a right to say, no, I can't do it, I'm not qualified? I don't think so. Unless we can demonstrate that my lack of qualification will really be harmful to the project, to, to others, then I think it's our, it's our duty to say, okay, I, want, I, I will try. What, whatever, at least I'm trying. Whatever the result is, I'm trying. That's the point. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.